Hi everybody, it's Peter Doyle here at Precision Fit Golf. Last month um, I mentioned that I was going to be doing a review of some new products from Tour Edge, specifically the Hot Launch 3 Series. So the Hot Launch 3 Series was released by Tour Edge at the PGA Show last month. It's called obviously the HL3 because it's the third generation of their product. It's specifically for game improvement, but we've had an opportunity to test it here at the studio, but also out on the course in typical conditions. So if you look at the spin rates for PGA and LPGA level, okay, so men swing typically at around 92 miles an hour average, getting about 6,000. Ladies swing at 78 miles an hour and they get about 5,900. But what you notice with ladies, because they're swinging at a slower speed, their launch angle goes up. They need that because obviously they need elevation to get the ball to land softer. So that's what we're trying to address here. The, sh the club head that we got in in the HL3 was a slightly firmer head. It's made from stainless steel. It's still malleable. We can bend it to any, any level that we want. But we put a shaft in that was more flexible so we could get spin that's consistent. So if you look at some of the reviews where some guy was hitting an iron that's traveling 185 yards, and it says seven iron, but it's actually a six iron given five iron spin. That's pretty confusing. In which case, what we've done is we've tested on a core situation where it's given us between about 162 and 165 but it's getting the right level of spin. And what that means is the ball is gonna pull up when you hit it into the green. So you've got the elevation, which is a positive. In some cases, it might even be two degrees more than what you're seeing at some of these clubs online, but you've got optimum spin that doesn't make the ball spin backward. And likewise, you don't have spin that's too low that makes the ball fall out of the air. Or consequently, if you do get the elevation on a shot, the ball would hit the surface and run away. And we don't notice things like this when you're playing in winter because conditions are soft. But if you think about it from a handicap perspective, you're trying to play well in the summertime when conditions are hard, when the greens get firm. What good is it if an iron is going two clubs further, if it runs off the green and you're either in a bunker or you're chipping and pitching from a position that causes you trouble? So what you see from the data with regards to the Hot Launch 3 product is you'll see that is control spin. The club head speed that I was exhibiting was somewhere between LPGA and PGA Tour Standard, but for this 7 iron club head that we tested, you can see the spin is consistent with what a 7 iron should be. Um, some of the reviews you're seeing online, the spin rate is 2000 RPM less than that. So if, if you're swinging at below PGA Tour speeds, your spin is going to drop, which means the ball doesn't climb. So the issue for you as a, as a club golfer is that you're never going to have the same level of control. So it's worth giving up a club or two lads if it means the ball is stopping on the green and giving you the chance to make birdie or maybe even par. So I suppose for a stainless steel iron head, uh, the HL3, it's, um, it's consistent. Obviously not consistent for you know, low handicap golfers who might use a force head and they get very, very consistent results. But if you think about the group and that, it's a couple of yards, it's probably 10 to 12 feet, which is pretty good for the average golfer who goes out to play because what you want to know is that you're getting decent enough ball speed off that club head to give you the distance you want, but also that it's going to behave consistently. The ball comes down more or less in the same spot the whole time. Like it's within a couple of feet or maybe in about, like I said, these 10, 12 feet. That's very, very good for the average golfer. It's going to make a difference to their game. The other clubs that you would have seen me testing above in Clonmel were the 5 wood and the hybrid from the HL3 series. Now they're game improvement clubs so you can see like the ball launches a little bit higher. 5 wood even off the tee launched a bit high but um, for a 5 wood it still went probably between 195 and 210 in course conditions off the tee which wasn't bad. The spin that we saw here at the studio was more around 5.5 maybe 4.500 which is what you'd want for a 5 wood. If you were to compare that to say the CBX, which is the tour version product from, from, from Exotics, uh, that's a tour tested product and it gives spin that's equivalent of maybe a thousand less. And then the only thing we found about the hybrid was that with the shaft that we put in, it was typically like a 70 gram uh, playing between regular and stiff flex. 
what we find is even with that tip of our head design that the, the launch was just slightly lower so i have a feeling because it's game improvement you're going to see the most benefit with the hybrid coming with a shaft that's probably under 70 grams maybe mid 60 even 60 depending on the level of golf that you're playing at but the ball comes off with quite um, hot and what I really really liked about it was that I was looking down at it, it looked like some of the really older tailor-made hybrids where they don't have the paint coming right to the edge of the crown. They have it back about maybe about a quarter of an inch so you see the stainless steel so I really liked that whole look, really sat well on the ground. So we're just out on the course now around the green, we're getting an opportunity to try the super spin wedge, we got it in the 52 version. And what we've done is um, we put it into a 100 gram graphite shaft and acro shaft and the reason we've done that is that we find a lot of people coming in with wedges that the shafts are just too heavy, they can't generate enough spin. I suppose what I like about the uh, HL3 Super Spin Wedge is obviously it's a stainless steel so for people who can't afford to spend 140 and 150 quid on wedges it's, um, it's a stainless steel option, it's durable. Uh, the fact that we're getting the spin rates that you're seeing on some of the shots from the flight scope like anything between 8 and 11,000 not with a whole lot of force. I mean obviously the shaft, um, the graphite shaft makes an awful difference at 100 grams, it's more of a tour weight but like for stronger players you can maybe use slightly heavier steel shafts for really stronger players if they wanted to go to a stainless steel wedge you can use your sort of like your, your typically your dynamic goals or your KBS tours or, or even some of the nip on the specialist wedges for those but the fact that the, the wedge has got really clean lines doesn't have a whole lot of offset I think it's going to appeal to a lot of people because um, it looks very traditional address it's very compact head shape but the fact that it's given the spin that it is it's it's testament to what the guys are showing that you don't have to spend um, massive bucks like 150 quid maybe 160 euro just to get a wedge all right We'll also be getting the Hot Launch 3 driver in a couple of weeks' time to try out the studio because uh, the manufacturers, Dave and Glod, and the rest of the team at Tour Edge have said that it's going to give performance that's consistent with some drivers that are over €400 Euro to buy, but at a fraction of the cost. So that's going to be really interesting when we get it in and we're going to try it out and see what type of data comes off it. Once again, I'd like to say thanks very much for watching. Um, I hope the information at the start with regards to um, spin rates with irons was, was informative for you because um, like I said, we're always fearful when you hear about clubs that are coming out with shafts that could be just too stiff. There might not be anything wrong with these clubs per se. That, I mean, judging by what the pros are doing and seeing the spin rates being so low, it's probably just for the average golfer, you need to go to a shaft that's lighter and slightly more flexible just to get the spin rates up. Then they become a bit more realistic. So thanks very much for watching again. If you have any questions about Tour Edge or any of the products that we sell here from Tour Edge, such as exotics and so on, you can contact us by email at peter at precisefitting.com or you can use any of the telephone numbers to give us a ring to find out more. Thanks very much for watching again and we'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.